Hello and welcome to another episode of Game Night. Um, tonight we're playing Dishonored from Arcane Studios and Bethesda. So that's, I mean, are you looking forward to this? Yeah. Yeah, you, I've heard, I mean... I, so I think it came on my radar first, then I put it on your radar. And then it kind of sort of... You leave my radar out of this. No, yeah, you, you did You did bring yeah. it up and um, said, oh, you know, have you seen this? And it looks a bit sort of like Bioshock, shop, blah, blah, blah. And... Um, yeah, it wasn't until sort of a little while after that that uh, I heard some stuff about it and um, it intrigued me. So I've actually been playing it for the last couple of days. I'm actually really into it. Um, cool. We're going to play, I think it's like the second or third mission in. You haven't really seen much of it yet, so no. this is going to be quite interesting for you. Uh, maybe get you play a bit of it. So, awesome. Let's play some uh, Dishonored. Okay, um, so Dishonored is pretty hard to kind of sum up um, what it is is the you play this uh, character called Corvo who's um, kind of the the main bodyguard for um, this duchess of this city called Dunwall which is based on like Victorian London yeah at the time of the plague um, yeah it has this kind of alternate history thing going yeah through. yeah um, basically what happens is you just come back from um, being away for so long, uh, you're greeted by the Duchess and her daughter, who literally right at the beginning of the game are attacked by assassins. The Duchess is killed, the, the daughter is kidnapped, and you're framed for it. Um, and it was an inside job, and basically, yeah, you, you, there's these rebels who break you out of prison so many months later, and they basically change this badass assassin to kind of clear your name but also you know put the right people on the throne and stuff like that so cool yeah it's pretty awesome so this is a few missions in um we've got a decent little skill set here um which will show off dark vision blink bend time possession and some decent weaponry and all kinds of cool shit um so for now <clears throat> um also the thing that's interesting about this game is your actions change a lot of what happens later on and by that this explains it here chaos basically what's happened before the last time i was here um i left a bit of a trail of destruction so they've kind of the the kind they're the presence of um you know uh of the kind of bad guys are, are there and it's like they weren't as sort of in many numbers as before and so now you've got more people to kind of watch out for. You, they're heavily armoured and stuff, and they have like fucking rocket launchers and shit now. So, That's whereas cool. they they didn't have a big tower of rockets on before. So every time I go somewhere and cause some shit, the next time I go there, if I could, if I have to go back on myself, I could be faced with like heavy artillery or something, because I've you know been there sort of thing. Awesome. It seems to borrow a lot from a lot of different games. Yeah, it does. I mean, obviously the main one that a lot of people pick up on is Bioshock. Yeah. And you'll see that in a bit because of, like, you have your health, which is the red bar, and you have your mana, which is, like, the blue one, which is all your powers and stuff. Um, but basically, yeah, these... these Even, I mean, it seems... Been obviously, what we've Bioshock. seen of um, <clears throat> Bioshock Infinite, it seems almost sort of contemporary to that sort of setting as well. Yeah. Sort of an alternate history. I'm going to show you some pretty cool assassination shit right now if this works yeah. for me. So, yep, yeah, you there, Mister? So I need to make sure I get rid of his body before anyone sees me. So basically, <clears throat> yeah, um, heavily borrows from Bioshock. I think the fact that Bioshock Infinite was delayed. Uh, it was due to come out around the same time. The fact that yeah. it was delayed was a good thing for this game. Yeah, because it's um, a sort of. It's, 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 this is still flying under the radar for a lot of people, though, to be yeah. fair. But it's. I mean, you know, compared to a lot of look. Bethesda games recently, it's not had a lot of marketing. I've not seen. No, not as much as you would have thought. Yeah. So, this is the Dark Vision. It's basically. You enable this to kind of see through stuff, uh, you know, see where people are. Oh, okay. Dead people or live people. Mm -hmm. or you see dead people. You That's see good. dead people. So at the moment, I'm clear, apart from right up here, and you can see people's line, line of vision as well, so you can see whether they're looking at you or... Very metal gear. Yeah, it is. There's a, there's, it's basically 
Although, if, oh, although it kind of has some very minor RPG elements, it is basically a stealth action game. Yeah. Um, it's a very cool one. It's a game where you, it, it, it rewards you for being stealthy, but it's not gonna. it doesn't really punish you too much for going the kind of combat route. So um, it has sort of like multiple I, I, parts. I, it does. It, it, it claims... Well, it does make a big thing about saying, you know, what, what options and stuff you have. And... Um, you know, you it, it kind of makes it seem very open, but really there's only about four different ways to do things. Mm. So you can, you know, work your way around, fight through, stealth, or possess a fucking animal and sneak through, or whatever. There's only so many real, like, paths to it. It does add a lot of replayability, to be fair, but... Um, okay. So there's a guy there. See, so yeah, I'm going to use Blink just to kind of teleport there he can't see me so that's all good just turn that off so at the moment no one can see me now <clears throat> I can if you want to show you try and show you a little bit of uh, me kind of being stealthy and assassinating and stuff I yeah. don't know how all this is going to work out though okay so uh, yeah he probably didn't see me <laughs> So when you when you hit the B button, you kind of go into the crouch mode, and you kind of uh, okay. you you're not as easy to see. Um, you walk quieter and stuff like that. That is a skill you can upgrade as well. So let me just right. So he's he's preoccupied. Right. Yes. Kind of so blink is sort of teleport. Yeah. I can, though he's looking that way, that guy's looking that way, I could probably teleport there and not actually be seen. Oh, well, I got seen. Okay, so this okay, is good. So. This is, the blink's good for... Oh, shit. Okay. So, yeah. Alright, so I didn't go very well, but we can see where you're going. Yeah. How is combat? Combat's not too bad, it is a little bit button ashy. You know I'm kind of fucked because I'm stuck in the corner. It's not going to plan. So that's the good thing, you can teleport behind them and then kind of assassinate them. The combat's it's, it's quite good, I mean it depends how much you want to try and, you know... Depend, depending how you play the game, or that you might not need to use it that much. Yeah. That's just, uh... The other thing that's quite good, I think, com like, I know, like I said, you can't really consider this a straight up... It's definitely not an RPG, but yeah. it has elements of RPGs. The one thing that I like about this compared to RPGs is that... Usually when you loot things, you pick up a lot of pointless shit that you just end up selling. Yeah. This bypasses that all together. If you pick up something that's useless to you, you just get the money for it. So if it's worth 30 coins, you just get 30 coins credited to you. You don't have to cool. carry it around and fucking go somewhere to sell it or anything like that. Excellent. So that that complete. So you can pick up whatever you want and you, you know if it's worth stuff, you get you get the money for it. So. I think that's pretty cool. I like the fact that they've just gone, well, oh, fuck it, we could have a whole kind of thing where you have to sell stuff, but... So that's the big tower thing they've put there that wasn't there before. Okay, I'm seeing a sort of a... Um, Deus Ex influence as well. Yeah, there is... And it's mm. slightly... The stealth stuff in this is slightly easy in Deus Ex, which is why I've, okay. I think I've got into it a bit more. Let me just... Uh, I'm risk some shit now. Okay. So basically, in this mission, um, hey, you're just a man we basically uh, meet up with a guy who is going to help us with a bit of information. Basically, what we want to do is assassinate um, some twins. We know where they are, but getting some is tricky. So. Basically, this guy's going to help us out, but we need to do him a favour first. So there's a lot okay. of kind of, yeah, you know, one hand washes the other kind of thing going on at the moment. 
but it's cool because uh, we get to explore a little bit, uh, do a little bit of stealth, a little bit of combat. Um, yeah, it's all good. I'll show you some possession stuff in it as well. I'm liking the art style. It's got a very sort of comic booky feel without being too yeah. cartoonish. Yeah. 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 I'll agree with that. <laughs> um, also, it's worth noting it says Rune or Bone Charm nearby. These are these are collectibles that help you upgrade. There's a Bone Charm there. Um, this kind of mechanical heart thing out of my hand is you use it to locate these things. There's lots of them to collect. As I'm looking at it, beats. Kind of thing. Um, basically, you pick up runes and stuff so that you can. They're, they're your upgrade tools, basically. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's what that is. That's a little bit disgusting with the whole heart thing. A little bit gross. Yeah. So, um, another thing that's cool is, and unique to this game as far as I know, there's another yeah. game that really does its possession. Uh, at the moment, I'm a level one possession, so it kind of only applies to animals. Uh, until you're level two, you can. Once you're level two, you can, you know, turn turn into humans and possess humans and stuff. I didn't need to do that. I just changed it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah, it's kind of cool. All right. So, anyway, this dude. I need to speak to him. He's basically going to say, "Hey, I can, I can give you the information you need to, uh, you know, to get you there to assassinate these two motherfuckers, and you got to do this one thing for me first. And it's pretty easy. You actually don't have to do that much. Cool. It's a little bit of sneaking around. I'm right. A little bit of, you know, killing people. Nothing we haven't done already. So. Um. Yeah. The elixir stuff that is basically your health. Yeah. The whole premise behind it is that it's uh, a, a, a cure, or, or an, well, a f it's to fight against the plague, basically. Okay. You do get infected people who will come up and fucking spew on you and all kinds of fucked up shit like that. Um, you know, and obviously that knocks your health down. Getting stabbed and shot <laughs> knocks your health down quite considerably. Oh, I presume yeah. so. Yeah, so, but um, he's got like this fucking... Uh, Kind of homemade elixir stuff in the corner, which we'll, we're going to fill up some vials of in a minute and cool. gain some extra health. Well, Not that we'll need it for the mission, but a lot of talking. But basically, um, there's a, a, a kind of uh, brothel called the Golden Cat, which uh, is where they're held up, the two uh, people we need to assassinate. Because, like cool. I said, we've now we're now badass assassin. Like folk. Uh, just. You want to make some moving like a little bit yourself? Yeah. You go ahead. I can fill like four or five of these things up before it all tallies. No more left, I think. I don't have to do this, it's just nice to have the extra health there if you need it, you know what I mean? It's, it's just sat about, so you might as well. Uh, it may do another one, I don't know. Yeah, so okay, we're done. Okay, like I mentioned before, <coughs> that's not really worth anything to me. I can't use it for anything, but I've got 20 coins for picking it up. So instead of me having to carry it around, eventually find someone I can sell it to in some shitty little town, it just bypasses all that altogether. That's cool. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of right. There's no one there. And there's some mana, so that's all good. Yeah, nothing really worth so. <clears throat> but like I said, I've been playing this for a day or two. I'm, I'm not like majorly far. I'm a fair bit past this, but um, people have complained that it's too short. Yeah. These are people who have literally rushed through the game, done like the six main assassinations, and then nothing extra, no side quests, nothing. Um, it can take four to five hours doing it that way, which I think's fine. Yeah. Because if you want to play that way, that's up to you, but expect a shorter experience. Yeah. But to experience everything, which is a lot, there is a lot in here, it's like a 14 to 20 hour game. Well, that's, that's all Which right. is decent enough, because a lot of people yeah. are completists and they will try and do everything. Yeah, you get a lot of uh, plague of rats that will attack in numbers. If their numbers are any less than like 10, they'll run away from you, which is kind of funny. So, um, yeah, I'm glad you can get in on that action. As we go around this corner, we are going to get attacked by some assassins. 
Cool. But these dudes may or may not help out, it depends. But we can do the sneaky thing. There you go. I'll just get my black ass out of there. <laughs> so, I'm going to try and attempt to kind of not be seen while doing this. It's not that easy. So, um, I can actually go to, this is the art dealer's apartment. Um, there's no point in going in here, it's just nice to know it's there because later on you get the chance to save a woman who will give you a key to a safe that's in there. I think, cool. Something like that. So, yeah, it's all good. Just cancel that one, this needs to be working very well. There we go. Shit. There we go. Okay, so I still haven't been seen, which is good. Okay. So I've used my uh, blinks quite quite a lot in in, you know, in in a row, and it's knocked my mana right down. If you use it once, it knocks it down, but then it will refill it. But if you keep using it, it just kind of goes down. Eventually, it will refill. But if you want to just fill it up, you can do that. Same as your health. Cool. Where it gets kind of this kind of a little Bioshock thing. I'm sure Bioshock probably isn't the first game that's done something like that, but anyway. So, the place we need to go, you can go through the front door, yeah, but it means you've got to fight off a lot of these motherfuckers down there. So, what we're gonna do is try and go in a little closer to where we want to go. I need to be fairly careful doing this thing. Oh shit. You will see me in a sec. It's the only thing that's like, not. Can be a bit of a pain in the ass. To be honest. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is not stealthy at all. There you go, dude. Come on. So basically cool. what um, we're doing is trying to find out some information. The guy that who wants to help us out, we need to find out what happened to one of his guys, he's gone missing. Um, basically someone's going to try and sabotage his, uh, yeah, his business or whatever. And um, yeah, that's the name. Ooh, sounds painful. Yeah. Okay, he sort of saw me then. Okay. Wait a minute. Who's that? Outsider's eyes. I'm getting smoked. Oh, he's not blind. So, oh, no. so it's sort of like. <laughs> it's sort of like an Assassin's Creed element as well, like the more yeah. they. This dude's dead anyway, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, no reason I used to say. The other one's around somewhere, so... Throwing him into the fireplace, doing it. No, I just like then. <laughs> I like the thing he does. He really doesn't. So basically, uh, yeah. Here's where I need to be. So he's kind of seen me, but. Oh, fuck. There's not many people in this building anyway, so it's not like there's a lot of people to be checking out what's going on. Mm -hmm. 
like I said, it's a fairly quick mission anyway. Lots of stuff to read. We're not going to read it. Okay. Hang on the time for that. I said, there's two rats there, and they're going to do shit to me unless there's like 20, and then they'll gang up on your ass. Okay. Okay, so basically, we find out what happened to our, his informant, and um, yeah, that's not good. So we don't want to go that way. Back up and out the way we came, because it's slightly. Well, back up, back down. That's right, the way we came. It's slightly more stealthy than going out the front door. Being shot to shit. Cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's once you once you play like the first hour or so, you kind of really get into it. Yeah. I mean, it, it. There's enough story. Yeah. To keep you going, to find out oh what's going to happen next kind of thing. And you don't you don't get. You, you do get that, but you don't get it, sort of. In, in. There are games that are very heavily story driven, and this isn't like I wouldn't say it's the story that's the big thing of this game at all. But um, I think what it is is it does borrow from other games, but it borrows all the right bits. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Yeah. I'm gonna try and go up this way. So rather than going back the way I came, dropping down there and then trying to get back up, which is tricky. I'm going to try. And now, uh, pretty much back where we came out. Cool. And we just need to go back to our, our friend and tell him the bad news. <coughs> and he will Blind me. reward us with the information we need. Cool. He will also offer us um, the opportunity for him to do the assassinations, but we need to do something for him in return. I've not figured out, I haven't gone that route yet, so I don't know what that is. It'll be interesting to find out. So what sort of variety is there with like the, the quests that you do for people, is it? Not a lot. Oh, so, so is it all sort of like fetch quests? And it is It is mostly the ones that, at least at the beginning of the game, like, so I can't really comment as for the whole game overall but um yeah but I, don't know, I think i think they probably are mostly fetch quests oh, okay but like i mean well this with this dude i mean you obviously you're gonna go through this part of the main stuff but like mm. there are people who will you know it benefits you to help them it's not just a side quest it gives yeah. you something else that will help you get something else that will help you set up somewhere else so it all links together it's worth doing all of it but yeah yeah so Kral is dead yes basically he says um, you know I know you're trying to kill I can do it for you but you'd have to do something for me first but I figure since the whole point is that I'm fucking killing people alright okay I am, uh, but one day I'll go for the other option. But there is there is a fair bit of replayability, but and it caters to a lot of different play styles as well. Like I said, but yeah. if you're not a real stealthy person, and I I'm not, I know you're not particularly, <laughs> then you can go the combat route. But then it's going to make it hard for you later on because when you go back to locations you've been to, the fight's hard, that much harder, sort of thing. Yeah, which you would expect, but yeah. Um. And like I said with the stealth, it does reward you a little bit more, but it doesn't... There's no... I wouldn't say it's a major punishment by not getting stealthy. You know, it just makes it a little bit tougher. Well, I actually find it really... Cause, I mean, you were saying you've been playing this for a couple of days. Yeah. I know your other half has sort of been coming in and sitting and really getting into... Yeah, she was saying, oh, you tried to fucking, when you possess a rat and try and do it, yeah, that kind of stuff. Get yeah. involved. Yeah, I, I, I am getting that vibe. This is, uh... Yeah, and there are a lot of ways to do stuff. Um, so, the general idea is that we could go straight to the Golden Cat. Which is the brothel. Which yeah. is the brothel. We'd we probably come, would probably be a bit of a fight to oh. get there. Or you can go through... The, uh, the cabin's chair hotel go all up to the top go to the roof and break in that way which is what he said this is the information he's given us right 
So we're going to try and do that. I've only redone really this once before. If I hadn't already done this before, there would have been an achievement there. Assassinating an assassin. Cool. I've already got it. So. Alright. So, basically, here we go. We're, we're here before. Is that the assassin who came after you before? Who was yeah, there were a couple of them. One of them's probably been, like, already been <laughs> beaten to death or whatever. Oh, so is that a, a sick person? Yeah, there's a few of them down here. So yeah, they these are... If you go down there, they'll be alerted the same way that any enemy is. They're not exactly going to do shit. Um, I'll quickly show you this. Oh, no, not that. No, doing something wrong here. Oh, no, no. I think maybe I should just. Uh, That's pretty terrifying. Yeah. So we need to go this way to get to the hotel. But it's going to be. So there, no, I got the chance to save this woman. You can't see her, but she's there. I'll try and get him away from her because I could easily get away in the face. Of it. And yeah, some pretty nasty executions. Nice. When you get into it, combat is it can be quite good if you, you know, get into it. So, like I said before, the um, Wait, art dealer's place, she gives you a key. The back door service key oh, okay. So you can then go back there and, um, yeah, just fucking probably steal a load of shit that's worth money in that. Awesome. One little thing, just like a little thing like that, kind of not something much bigger, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm just going to get this fucking thing here. Don't enjoy Okay, awesome. So, we were, where were we going? <laughs> what is this little fucking name in that here? So we want to go to, we literally want to go to that door there. Okay. So we need to use dark vision to see what's about to see. I've been here before, they fucking put a, yeah, thing me up. So. We've got a lot of motherfuckers hanging about. But, probably. Just fucking sneak up there. They'll chase me, but whatever. Look, there's rats. Just be careful, rats. The rats were going down there, so that's good. They might. Yeah, they might help me out. So, that was how we got through that. Cool. We could, like I said, we could have gone through them, then gone around to the Golden Cat, had another fight, and it just, it would have been more carnage, and it's yeah. kind of slightly easy just to run past them at this point. Cool. So, they play your way, basically, this comes up every so often, it basically just says that, there's different ways of doing shit. There's not that many ways, though. Yeah. You know, there's a few different paths, you can go one way, you can go another, you can go the stealth, or go the combat route, it's kind of only really so many ways to do stuff but it does give you options it does cater to play styles and it does you know have a brothel it does have a brothel i was gonna say add some replayability but yeah sure <laughs> so What we're going to do now is um, an aerial assassination. There we go. I demand that you show you. Pretty sure somebody's seen me then. The thing that's good is you can look through keyholes and stuff to see if there's anyone uh, about. Before you open the door and get you know, your head blown off or anything. That's cool. That's with money. So, we have to do. So basically, 
we're here not just to assassinate the twins, we're here to um, try and find the uh, Duchess's daughter who was yeah. kidnapped. And she happens to be being held captive here. And we're going to gain a bit of information. Oh, that's close. There's the madam who obviously runs a place. Yeah. She has the master key for every room. We need that to get to certain places, so we have to kill her and take it from her. Well, we can pickpocket, but we need to gain access to her office as well and get certain information from her. Sometimes it's easier just to off them. Okay. Well, it actually appears that they are in a different room, so not really much of a problem. She's got the master key. So here we go, stuff to read, stuff to collect, pick up, more quests to open. yeah, it's a lot to do. Or you could, like I said, a lot of people have been saying, oh, you could just run for it and do it in like four or five hours and only do the kind of basic shit. Okay, obviously I've been seeing. Mm -hmm. So where I need to be is right up here. Because we're going to rescue the door first. I'm just going to sneak past on these doors. And she's there. She's alright, it? Cool. Basically, then, she lets us know about a VIP exit. Some of the, um, obviously, like I said, it does borrow from, like, Bioshocks and stuff like that. Yeah. It also uses the Unreal Engine 3, which yeah. kind of makes it look kind of similar, I guess. Yeah. In some ways. And that kind of probably doesn't help with a comparison, but... Yeah, it's a very robust engine. Fairly. Uh, he's, looking, he's looking old now, though. Like. Yeah. It's showing its age. Thing to note, there's actually quite a lot of slowing down of time in this game. I noticed yeah. when you go to the menu, it seems like it's paused, but it's really not, it's just really slowed down. So, if you're in a combat situation and you're trying to flip between weapons or powers and stuff, you can still get attacked or killed, or you know, but it just happens really slowly. Oh, sure. um, there's also, I actually have the power to 
yeah, it's made out of time. It does help when you're trying to like, you know, get by people. Yeah. Or just try to run away from a situation. It can be quite handy. Okay, so what we need. The bling, the bling thing kind of works for combat. Yeah. That's really cool. I like the way you can use it in combat. Yeah. Because obviously, if you're kind of having a long, slightly long distance fight, and then you're kind of up in the guy's face, you can just mm. quickly assassinate him, which is pretty awesome. What's that on the mirror? Oh, it's a uh, really just cool. Um, yeah, I, li I like how you said it's not too punishing for the fact that you failed that little bit of stealth. Yeah. You can. You don't have to do the brutal thing. You can. You can just like choke people out and, and kind of. So he's, unco he's unconscious right now. Throw him over the edge. Okay. I could alert some people or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what. So good. So yeah. So basically, yeah. And you can tell I did not want to do that. So the room we want to go to to assassinate the first guy is right there, but the problem with this is these guys here. And there's probably a couple of other guys hanging around somewhere as well. Though I may have just killed them, so that could make this bit a little easier, maybe. We'll see. So theoretically. If you'd have upgraded possess shin and stuff, you could I have possessed possess one of them. Yeah. Like, kill other people and shit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that looks Well, it looks a little bit like there's just that dude there. Which is good for me because it makes things a hell of a lot easier. Shit. Kind of thing. <laughs> I should have done this the legit way, he wouldn't have come out of the room. Yeah. But hey, that's the guy I need to kill. I don't need to tell anybody. <laughs> take you with me. <laughs> Sorry, it's, I mean. it's almost too much fun. Um, yeah. Pretty sure there's nothing major in here, so calling this up. I think he's got some money on him, so we'll take that. That's one of the twins done, so you just need to find the other one. The other one's quite easy, really. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm going to just keep running around the day, to be fair. 
and shit like that. Uh, spring rain is a trap. Try some that actually. I gotta get back right now. Oh. You don't have to fray that age. Uh, pop it in the floor here. Come back a little, little bit sort of yeah. hit and miss, but it can be quite fun. Bit twitchy. It is a little bit, yeah. Well, I do like the sort of like the parrying and stuff. Yeah. So I don't need to go to the eye of your mind. I'm going to go to the. Um, I think. Okay, so it was it was different the last time I played it. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. One of them was in the gold room, which yeah. was the first one we did. And the other one was actually in the steam room. Oh. Okay, having a sauna. But the way you killed him was that there was a note near the um, maintenance part of it yeah. saying how uh, the pressure needs to be checked, etc, etc, because it's been a bit on the fritz lately. Well, obviously, you just go in and turn the pressure right up, and the whole thing kind of goes boom and sprint, bones his ass to death. So nice. That's how it happened before. So yeah. there, there are lots of like variations and. No, this is it appears to be. That was totally different the last time I played it. So that's cool. Does seem to do quite a lot as far as making these things sort of. Uh, yeah, I haven't figured this woman out yet. Granny rags. But, and I'm gonna, I'll just show you this for the sake of showing it to you, because it's just twisted. Look at what happens when you kill her. She's turning the fucking rats. Okay. That's fucked up, right? Oh, they're gonna eat me. Right, I've got a lot of wankers. Well, let's try and bend some time, shall we? like almost parkour elements as well though yeah. not in the way there is in like Assassin's Creed or anything but no. but, but the, the, there seems like there's a relative openness the areas are big and there are lots of different ways of navigating around them and getting from one place to the other I mean I know it's sort of going over rooftops or through alleys and stuff and Although you say, yeah, that it's kind of limited to like how many pods and stuff you can take, there's yeah. still. Yeah, it's, um. Isn't it, isn't 
you get out of it what you put in really. Yeah. But that's that, that's that's kind of mission done. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I say. That's well cool, it's like I said like the area design it's just sort of fairly yeah. open, it's not I mean you, you can see how fucking off I did there. Yeah. Because like the fucking overall chaos is high. Yeah. Dead or unconscious bodies found like ten. So sure. ten bodies they found. I killed thirty four people. Three civilians. Not that great, but hey. I didn't collect much stuff. Well, that's fine. Feel free to download. Right. It's cool, I like it. I think it's definitely a game that's um it's surprising a lot of people, obviously it's yeah. it, it's kind I of expected got, but not. Gotten fairly positive reviews I think. Shame it's not a nicer looking game. Yeah. That is one thing that lets it down a little bit. The frame rate, as you can tell right now, seems to have dropped a bit. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. There are worse looking games out there, but yeah, yeah. not many. I should I like, so I like the art style, but. And uh, it's something I haven't really mentioned is. Um, there's a little bit of uh, voice talent in this game. Yeah. There's uh, Susan Sarandon. <laughs> nice. Brad Dourif. Um, I'm forgetting there are others. I'm on Wikipedia, I didn't check that. I can't. <laughs> I'm fucking. Hang on. <laughs> Let me just. <laughs> I think it's a little thing. There are other people in this. You may. You will get to see it all. The entirety of the house. Good. I think I like it here. I'll go with Calista Corvo. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. Oh, Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher. Well. There's a few other people. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's actually mm -hmm. sort of voice talent in there and stuff. So, and with the penalty twins gone, so um, where are we now? Is this kind of This is the safe area where... Like the hub? Yeah, this is kind of... The, the pub is kind of the central place where they all kind of... Yeah. You meet up and you, you know, it's where you stay. Awesome. Hmm. Right, so... I don't know if there'll be any bugs, I've probably collected all the ones that are here as far as okay. upgrading and that. And how do you... So you like, like Bioshock, you've got that as your weapon, this is your power. Okay. So you, you trigger, you just point it where you want, hold the trigger, and then if you want to cancel, you hit X in case you, you know, because if you let go, that's where you're going to go, sort of thing. So right through here, there's the guy who helps you, I think that's Brad Dourif. Ask me for any gear you need. Yeah. yeah. So basically he'll you can buy shit from him or whatever. That's cool. He'll you can also uh, get upgrades for like you know your the optics in the mask and things like that, so you can see further and zoom right in that kind of shit. You know, yeah. pretty cool. Obviously, like you can power up the blink so you go further, or you can that kind of shit. You know. So if you aim there, you can probably do that, and then hit A, and then you can probably maybe avoid. Yeah, it pretty much gets you where you need to go anyway, but sometimes you need to tap A straight afterwards to jump. There's a lot going on. But you can like upgrade the swords so you, the way you lock swords with somebody, you've got the advantage, things like that. Yeah. It's cool. I mean, if, like, if you're looking for a really sort of deep role-playing game experience, it's not really the game for you. No. But if you like, if you kind of like a bit of that kind of thing mixed with some of the more action, stealthy kind of thing, then like I kind of, I was talking to you earlier and I kind of said, oh, it's, 
it's like Bioshock meets Assassin's Creed with a little bit of Fallout 3 in there. That's yeah. probably not the greatest description of the game, but it's sort of um, the closest, I think. Um, you, I mean, it's, it's hard. I mean, with a bit of Deus Ex in there as well, and Metal Gear, okay, maybe, yeah. 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 As far as the stealth side of it goes, but yeah. So most of the time you'll meet down here and they'll tell you what they'll need to do next, etc. Et you know. I hope his lordship is taking this well. I want to run in. Yes. Pretty cool. Oh, so yeah, I think it's not, it's not without its flaws, but it's I think overall it's a, a pretty good game. It's quite fun. It's there's a lot to explore, and if you don't want to, if you're not big into that, then. Like you say, you can just literally blitz through it. You know. Oh, a fish can hit you as well. Yeah, so you're obviously supposed to go up there, so. That's fair enough. Never cease to amaze. Someone help. Father, the loyalist conspiracy thanks you for yeah. your work. Okay, that's know. cool. Takes a little bit of getting used to. Yeah, the bit. controls are a little. I, I did. Uh, there are a lot I of did, buttons to do a lot of things. Kind of, um, yeah, I did kind of like tweak the sensitivity on the X and Y and that. So. It was a little bit quicker because I found the default was like really slow, sluggish. So when it came to combat, it was like you couldn't move around quick enough to okay. deal with stuff. So I kind of put it just a little over halfway, so you've got a bit more. You know, you can move quicker. Yeah, doesn't always work to your advantage, but you know. But yeah. It's cool. I mean, like, I'm having fun with it so far. I'm probably not even. I'm probably. Roughly halfway through, maybe, because I've not been doing too much side questy stuff, and not too much yeah. hunting. Because I think that's one of these. This is one of these games that I'll probably just kind of play through and then go back and try and do everything. I think that's what I do did with Bioshock. Is the first playthrough was fairly straightforward, um, you know, and then with the second or third playthrough of Bioshock. I kind of tried to get all the secrets, collect all the bits and pieces yeah. as much as possible because that's where the game's yeah. going to take you like 14 hours or whatever to do. So, yeah. so do you reckon this will tide you over until Bioshock then? Um, I'm not completely because I can see myself finishing it and yeah. doing most of it before that, but between, <laughs> let's be honest, we've got a lot of games coming out between now and then yeah this will help bridge that gap by a fair way but there'll be other stuff once I've done with this there'll be other stuff to play before Bioshock comes out because we're still looking at what February March for that so yeah and I think around the same time we get like Dead Space 3 and shit like that so that's stuff I'll be playing we've got Tomb Raider as well it's Tomb Raider yeah I forgot about that actually yeah so I mean yeah it's all good uh, it's, it's, it's one of those games I think when you think oh it's published by Bethesda and all that you think oh okay you kind of think oh I'm getting this kind of game but yeah it's not Bethesda publishing do various different types of things I mean they yeah it, it's it's similar enough that you could go oh this it's the sort of thing they would publish but it's not too much of the same sort of thing that they publish yeah. if you know what I'm saying because they did that um wet a while ago didn't they yeah they did yeah that was very different for them quite a surprise really yeah um but this is sort of like somewhere well, see, in the I middle for them i think yeah i think it will get a lot of comparisons but yeah like i said there's definite influences from games like bioshock and assassin's creed and fallout and things like that and and stealth games and you know yeah. but it's hard in this day and age not to kind of borrow yeah it's not, it's not copying it's borrowing really because it does it in its own way and I think it's 
you know, it's unique enough for it to be its own thing, and I don't think I don't think it should get flack for borrowing from. No, no, definitely not. Because it's it does it in a way that works for the game, yeah. and it's fun and enjoyable, and you know, there there will be people who probably hate on it, but fuck them. <laughs> so probably it has that feeling of sort of depth to it like they're, they're, there's more sort of going on that the, the, there could be more well put it this way with the heart I didn't explain this actually with the heart that helps you find runes and bits and pieces yeah you can walk up to a person and hit the left trigger and it, or you can hear their thoughts and everybody's got a secret so you, you get to kind of there's so much of a story there yes. everybody you encounter has some kind of story I mean, which is pretty amazing, really. I find myself, I, I tend to get fairly involved in, in depth things like the games and stories and stuff, and I find there's sort of like a mythology or lore about this that I find quite appealing. It seems like quite an interesting world. Yeah. Get into. I think I want to play it from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, no, thank you very much for watching this episode of Game Night. We'll be back real soon. In fact, the next episode technically is the Halloween special, um, so it's live, check that out, you stream, uh, if you check out our Facebook, facebook.com forward slash games for podcast, there's some information about it up there, um, you can go on our Tumblr, Tumblr blog, that's uh, the games for podcast dot Tumblr dot com, I think then, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash games for podcast, that's pretty much uh, the the main sort of three places you can view all our content. That's us. That is us in a nutshell. And um, so yeah, the Halloween special coming up end of this month. Uh, we've got some more game night planned after that. Um, it's not straight after that, really. The, yeah, the schedule kind of is is a bit up and down. Depends on what's going on. We 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 just cancelled the Family Guy uh, game night that we were planning to do before this. Yeah. Um, but we've got Assassin's Creed Three coming up. Um, I'm not sure exactly when that's going to be get filmed and posted, but it should be pretty soon after the game comes out. Um, what else? We've got uh, Call of Duty Black Ops and uh, Metal Gear Warfighter. Warfighter, and hopefully Far Cry 3. So, plenty more to look forward to. Thanks very much for tuning, and um, we'll see you soon. year but uh, chances are it's not going to involve James and enjoy it because it's probably never going to happen again. <laughs>